Good afternoon, I'm Davina Smith. We're about to bring you the very latest from the Reserve Bank as it hands down its monthly decision on interest rates. And to talk us through it, Nine's business and property reporter Chris Kohler. Chris, good afternoon. What are we expecting to see? Good afternoon, Davina. Well, no move is expected today from the Reserve Bank. In fact, the market's pretty much made its mind up on that one, really pricing in no chance at all today. We are at a quarter of a percent on the official cash rate, 0.25 percent, and that is as low as Governor Philip Lowe has said that we are willing to go in Australia. We're not going to be seeing negative interest rates, according to him. Uh, basically, the idea is that this is as, as far as we can go. The, all the bullets that uh, can be used against this coronavirus crisis have now been used, uh, and we've got conf confirmation there uh, already that there is no change uh, today on the interest rate. Uh, hikes will be a very, very long way off, but this is as far as we're going to be going down. Really, what's happened now is Governor Philip Lowe has passed the, uh, passed the ball on to the government and to the banks, which is quite an interesting uh, interplay going on there. The government handing out JobKeeper and job, job seeker, and the banks uh, with their mortgage deferrals, that's really what's propping up the economy right now. The Reserve Bank with their hands more or less off the wheel. There will be a lot of, uh, you know, looking into the commentary from the Reserve Bank. Uh, uh, and whether or not any mention is made of the Victorian situation, but because the Reserve Bank is a national uh, policy maker, it won't really be able to do much there either. But certainly no move on the cash rate today and probably not one for uh, several months ahead, Davina. Chris Kohler with that breaking news. Thank you. We're just repeating. The Reserve Bank has decided to leave interest rates on hold at the record low of 0.25%. We'll have the very latest in the afternoon news at 4 o'clock. You can join us for Nine News as well tonight at 6.